come hang out with us in the studio. It's Tamara Brown, Mike Dussel, Evan Lazar. Guys, with a performance like Mac Jones' on Sunday, what does that mean for him going forward into this Dolphins game? That's a good question. I think that's the number one question, right, is can they build off of this? Is this a one-game situation? Was that their Super Bowl in October, or is this going to turn into something where they turn the season around? I, I think that's everybody's biggest question going into this Miami game. At the end of the day, it was one game. You're, you're still two and five. Like, it didn't solve all of your problems just because you beat Buffalo. So how do they come out against the Dolphins? At, that stadium has been a house of horrors a little bit for the Patriots, even with Tom Brady. So it's going to be a tough game down there. Yeah, I mean, I'm just excited to see Mac be able to do it. And I think that that can help their confidence. You know, that's just something they needed. They, we know how much work that this team puts in just to have a little bit of success. And, you know, I just, I like that they overcame some of their problems. You know, you had a late game turnover that you had to overcome. They could have folded right there. They didn't fold. They fought back. They were able to get a last second win. But as Evan said, we'll see what it means. One of the things Mac Jones credited that performance to was Bill O'Brien's play calling. You're a big scheme guy, Evan. What did you like about it? Man, in that first quarter on that opening script, I got to tell you, they had to put Bill O'Brien out on the sideline because he was on fire. <laughs> All right, my goodness. <laughs> like, what a what a game by Bill O'Brien. I thought in the first really three quarters of that game, he carried the offense. The, the coordinator carried the offense, not even out there on the field. And the biggest thing I think that they were able to do was add more motion into the offense. When you're a team that lacks talent on the outside, you don't want to be stagnant. You want to just get up to the line of scrimmage and snap the ball and try to win one-on-one -on -one across the board by getting guys in motion at the snap, using Pop Douglas in space, getting that and marrying it to the running game. That allowed them to open up the Buffalo defense a little bit in the middle of the field, which is where we know they want to run the ball and where they want to throw the ball so I, I really thought that this was as good of a game plan the Patriots have had and as good of a, of a play calling script they've had in years like you have to go all the way back probably to Josh McDaniels at some point how about the execution too I mean that's you know it's one thing to call the plays but for the players to make those plays under pressure and I love Evan mentioning Douglas you know just getting him out there getting him involved you know it just felt like finally he was finally that piece that we've been looking for made some outstanding catches too that really should build his confidence. Mike, what would you like to see carried over from this amazing game plan? Well, I think I'd love to see a good start again, and I know that that's not really game plan dependent, and certainly everything that Evan talked about with you know the motions that they're, they're putting in uh, is great, but I think I'm ta looking a little bit more philosophically and just saying, hey, let's get another good start. Let's have another, you know, we'd love to get a touchdown on that first drive. You get a field goal, but then Jabril Peppers comes out and picks off their first pass. So it's a great start. All of a sudden, you're up 10-0. What, what do we do now? You know, we're in front. It limits Buffalo maybe a tiny bit early on. Obviously, there was a long game to go. Um, but just getting that good start, I felt like, set them up for success. So if I'm just taking baby steps, let's take, the, let's take that good start over. On the other side of the ball, the Eagles were able to hold the Dolphins to 12 carries for 45 yards. Do you think that's going to be an important part of the Patriots' plan this week? Absolutely. It's, it's squish the fish, right? Like that's the game plan if you're the Patriots defense. The Eagles were the more physical team mm -hmm. in that game. And that was what it came down to was the line of scrimmage. And I know that we all love to talk about the scheme, me in particular, <laughs> the weapons, the quarterbacks, all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, football is a simple game. And sometimes the line of scrimmage, and I think that that speaks to how the Patriots were so successful last week compared to the first six weeks as well, is – the offensive line versus the defensive line, especially when you play this Miami team, you're going to play a lot of soft zone coverage. You're going to be in a lot of two deep shells. Uh, you're not going to really want to crowd the line of scrimmage too much with those weapons on the outside. That puts a lot of stress on the defensive front. The front four, the linebacker level, they're going to have to stop the run while dropping seven guys constantly into coverage to worry about Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddell and Tua. So can the Patriots front beat up a uh, beat up Dolphins offensive line like the Eagles did that's how the Patriots are going to win this game defensively yeah Christian Barmore Dietrich Wise nice games from them Jawan Bentley getting a little bit more involved in the pass rush so obviously the injuries with Judon and Uche being out Anthony Jennings stepped up a little bit so I think they're getting a little bit of, of spark from some of those guys they've got to carry it over though that's where the game's going to be won or lost those are some of the things to look for in this matchup down in South Florida for more leading up to the game go to Patriots.com and Patriots YouTube